All right, welcome back everybody. Emily Davis has transformed her passion for painting into a successful venture as a local Cincinnati Pinot Palette owner. Emily is here this morning with one of her managers at the store. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank we you appreciate you taking the time. Um, I want to make sure people know, you know, about this event and how people can really get involved and really why you decided to start it up to begin with. So I had, um, Giving you the speed version here, yeah. <laughs> I had a, a career in human resources and I just had my third kid. I was a customer at Pino's Palette, loved it, um, found my painting home there and uh, found out that the studio that I painted at was for sale. So kind of one thing led to another, was not looking into business ownership at the time and decided to take the opportunity to be at home with my kids, do something that I love at night and on the weekends. And That's now we've so been at it for about five years. So wow. <laughs> time really does fly. It does. I mean, what an incredible story. That has to be so special for you. And then uh, for those who aren't familiar with Pino's palette, how does it work? So basically all skill levels, like I cannot tell you how many times we hear from folks that come in. I haven't painted since elementary school. That is our, our typical guest that comes in and paints with us. And um, we take you from start to finish. So we can show you very quickly today, the blank canvas that you have yes. is how folks come in. We'll go through a background, something like this. Beautiful. And then this is usually about the midway point. Okay. And we're super excited for you to finish it up on air. Oh, yay. <laughs> so, I mean, honestly though, you don't have to be a professional to come in and do this. I, I've done classes similar to this and it, it's just so much fun. Whether you're by yourself, you're with a group of girls or you're with your significant other, whatever the case may be, just to come in and just have a little bit of fun. Cause you maybe wouldn't do this at home in your spare time, unless you're an artist or, <laughs> you know, a painter. Um, all right, I do want to help finish this. Are you going to help me? I am. Okay. All right. Here, Let me here. set this down. I'm going to set this one here. down. Okay. Here, we'll switch places. Okay. I'm a lefty. And okay. <laughs> are you a lefty? No, I'm a righty. Okay. All right. So we're just going to stipple. Stipple, stippling is tapping. Okay. So you're going to put a little bit of paint, just a little, kind of tap it off, and you're just going to tap lightly. It's a very, very light touch. And I'm trying to make leaves on the trees. Yes. Mine aren't, mine's not going to look like that, but. It's, but it's very, very light. So okay. you can, you know, Take your time. You're trying to add basically leaf clusters to the branches. That's beautiful. And you're just lightly, lightly tapping. You okay. can turn your brush this direction, horizontal, vertical, and just lightly, lightly tap. There you go. How much do you love this? Do you oh, love, I love teaching? It. This is, this so do you do you help teach the classes? Yes. I know you're a manager, um, but what do you love most about working there? Um, here, I'll try this way here. Oh yeah, you can do that. Um, convincing people they can do things they don't think they can do. Okay. Um, we have the best, the point. best, the best guests. We really do. Um, I have regulars. They come, you know, all the time. Um, I've been doing this um, at Pino's Palette for eight years now. Wow. Um, so for those who want to get involved in this, um, Emily, how do they do that? What's the best way? Um, come and check out our website. We have over 2,500 paintings in our library, so there's a lot to choose from on our calendar coming up. It's um, pinospalette.com forward slash west hyphen Chester. And where are you guys located? Um, we are right off of 75 on Tylersville Road. Uh, anyone familiar with the area? There's a Meyer right there. We're very, very close to Myers. I love this. And do you guys, um, do, do people know what they're going to paint when they come in or is it kind of a surprise? Nope, they sign up so they can look at our full calendar and see what we're painting each, uh, each day of the week and sign up for the one that interests them because we have landscapes, we have um, figurative paintings, abstracts. I mean, every kind of painting you can imagine we've yeah. got. And can I just say, I am a really, I am not artistic at all. Like I, I do not have an artistic bone in my body, but you know what? This is actually not too bad. How am I doing? Yours look way better. You're doing great. <laughs> I mean, you definitely win. <laughs> My, my leaves are a little more full, but either way, it doesn't look too bad. 
<laughs> right? Did I do okay? No, you did great. You okay. did great. And, right. and we have people that come in and, and, you know, they're going, oh my gosh, I can't even draw a stick figure. And that's yeah. usually when I say, well, good thing we're not doing those today. Exactly. So that <laughs> so works you're out good. for me. You're good on that. <laughs> I love it so much. This is fun. Well, I'm going to uh, work on my painting here. We're going to be right back. Thank you guys so much for coming Thank in. Thank you for having us. We'll Thank have this you. segment on our website, fox19.com, just in case you missed anything. In the meantime, though, we'll be right back.